Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're back again with yet another war video, this time NY is facing off against Wa, very serious opponent. As we all know, they're currently in top three of the leaderboard. So they're definitely taking the war series. They're super strong for the season. And that just means that we're gonna potentially have our most fun war yet. And I can spoil it, it definitely was an extremely close and fun war. This is what Alliance War should be all about. Fights that get your heart racing. <laughs> but anyway, so the first fight is Magic against Hyperion. This node has increased power gain, so we do need to be slightly careful. However, this node doesn't really have much health and attack boost. So if the war should happen, we can still eat that level 3 and we're going to be fine with it. However, we do have our maxed out Mystic Dispersion, so it means we're gonna, we got to our level 2 fairly fast. And once the first level 2 is in the game, Hyperion's power locked and we have this down. So that was a quick fight, uh, 35 seconds, 20 something hits, not a big deal there at all. So our next fight is node number 16, Kinetic Reactor, Heal, Block, Power Reserve node. This node can be tricky already because there are several opponents where it's going to be extremely difficult to manage the power for them. However, that's exactly why I love Quake for this fight, because she completely takes out the power gain and Kinetic Reactor and power reserves certain aspects of this fight and we just basically get a simple easy quake fight against opponents we can stun and that makes it easy this node doesn't have too huge of a health boost so the fights don't really last too long either and this quake is definitely my favorite champion to use against this node as in past I have definitely had some troublesome fights here but ever since I have started using Quake, it just seems much more simple and straightforward. So anyways, uh, again, under a minute, the fight is over. Nothing special, we're still on our full yellow bar. Perfect. And our next fight, we can see is uh, Masochism Node, Skill Champion on Masochism Node. And we're gonna be taking in our Quake again, because we like using Quake for everything recently. <laughs> And she's really good. And for some reason I just feel really safe using her. Anyway, so it's Korg. So the thing with Korg is he is going to go unstoppable and unblockable throughout this fight. Also, Masochism is going to trigger here and there. So we're going to have to out damage it, healing and make sure we are not relying on our uh, parries to deal with this Korg. That means we need to fully dex everything as a must pretty much. But so far so good, as I can see, we can see Masochism did trigger, but we can kind of out damage it fairly easily. We we're using Suicides, uh, so we did change our Masteries in between the fights, just to make sure we can output enough damage to get by Masochism. And we're doing great work at it. So we're not even a minute in and the Korg is getting really low on the health. And the fight is about to be over there. So only damage we took in this fight was really our suicide damage. Which obviously is the damage we take from suicides is increased. Because we are boosting. Which means we are losing more health than willpower can gain back for us. However, since we're not using our specials. Aside from the initial kind of damage. It really isn't a big deal. And we're up to node 29 and we see Mephisto there. So that's fairly interesting placement. I have seen Mephisto there in past, and I believe I used magic to take him down, but this time we got Quake with us, and we just can't ignore that class advantage, and it just seems like a perfect matchup, because we do not need to worry about his Incinerate, or Mystic Dispersion, or anything of the sort. So first things first, we need bait out at level 1, which we do just now, and now we're starting to charge our aftershock charges and placing that concussion on him. So once again, if Masochism would about to trigger as we're charging heavy attack, we are ignoring the Masochism because concussion, which we place him by charging heavy attack, as long as we are charging heavy attack, is ignoring that uh, Masochism trigger by reducing their abilities to zero, basically. So long as we can make sure uh, that happens a couple times a fight, we're going to get in a safe stun, a break in the fight, and that's also going to help us speed up the fight, because we're not going to have to 
compete against masochism region as hard so as you can see uh, we're about 40 no sorry we're exactly uh, one minute in the fight and it's nearly over I think it took us like yeah one minute and 10 seconds or something so it's a nice easy fight for quake where many others would kind of struggle or definitely would have a harder time so uh, for our next fight we're gonna be using Corvus because that's the bleed node uh, stun immune bleed node with breakthrough on it and pretty much every single time when you see a science champion on there you're gonna be seeing void so we're gonna be using our Corvus and we're gonna be using one half suicide setup we're only going to be using double edge reason for that is because void obviously damages us for every unique debuff we have on us however when we start this fight we already started with a bleed debuff anyways so we're just placing the second bleed debuff on us which is not going to increase the damage from void but it is going to help us uh, heavily on our damage output uh, so we did use special one stun boost just to be safe just to get to that level two as fast as we can and that's exactly how our alliance operate in these wars we always try to save our three minute boosts for every hard war that comes and so for vast majority of alliance wars even though the fights are hard we try to get by if we're already winning the war we'd rather die to some opponent than waste a three minute boost like if there is a, enough of a safety cushion just to make sure we're fully boosted and fully stocked up for the hardest wards of the season so anyways three level twos in a row because of cosmic uh, power boost void goes down not a big deal and now we're gonna get to the most fun fight of the war we're gonna be taking that thing as a stun immune mini boss with quake so that's definitely gonna be fun it's actually a really kind of good placement because there are so many people who are really not too comfortable fighting the thing yet <clears throat> and him being stun immune definitely makes it a lot harder luckily quake is an excellent matchup for the thing stun immunity does make it a bit harder but uh, if we're confident enough with our full dexterity method it's not a big issue either unfortunately this is a bit later in the war so my boost ha boost hand dropped off so i need to reboost for these fights but it's fine it's just one of the things <clears throat> so yeah we're gonna be going in without quake just make sure we are recording we're kind of like having two seconds to focus ourselves there but yeah so quake goes in we need to remember this thing isn't gonna get stunned so we need to keep our attention on all the time we can't take any breaks but uh, once you get used to kind of like uh, fully awaiting everything with quake it's actually fairly easy it's just one of those things that somewhat comes from a practice and i have had plenty of chances to try my quake against the thing so i'm fairly comfortable with his move sets and uh, reading his movement so as we can see he's going down fairly fast we were back on full suicides here as well just because i didn't want to take any chances and i wanted to finish this fight as early as i can and yeah so we're about what 50 seconds in no not even that and he's already under like 30 percent health we're just keeping avoiding everything he can't even touch us it always feels so nice when you have a smooth perfect fight with quake and yeah here's the last few percent left and the fight has lasted about like one minute and ten seconds or so so uh yeah that was all for today's war but was it anyways uh our, our battle group had a bit of a mishap because our guy who was supposed to take down the champion didn't wake up in time so we were all kind of rushed in to get him down in time because our lead in the war was big enough so for us not to care how many times we die in this champion so i did go in with my magic without morningstar synergy and proper boosts we did some damage to him i think we took out like 50 percent of him but we still died unfortunately because it was a bit of a rush job i didn't manage to record it but yeah it was an all right kind of fight nothing special but regardless we have an extra death on the season so this is a fourth death this season and we're 8-0 
as a team so so far so good anyways guys if you like the video feel free to like it share it uh, subscribe and be sure to check back in for some more because I have even more interesting work coming up